wow <laughs> would you look at that i'm live how exciting how scary so i'm coming to you on facebook live today because my titan and tone series session has ended for the season and i thought i would bring you guys some nice healthy easy movements i'm not even gonna call them, not even gonna call them exercises not even gonna call them workouts we're just gonna move in a nice fulfilling way during this stressful holiday season, during this stressful COVID season, during this stressful end of the year, new year season. So join me if you'd like now. You can watch a little bit now, join me later. You can just watch now. You don't even really have to do it. You can just watch, no judgment, all right? So here are some little exercise or movement routines that I've done in my classes. I hope you enjoy them. You don't need anything except yourself. You don't need any weights. You don't even need a yoga mat if you don't want to. I just put one out so I know where to stand. See, no big deal, nothing scary. All right, so I like to start out each and every one of my classes with some gentle movement. And we start with both feet grounded down to the mat, slight tuck of the tailbone, pulling the belly button in and up, and some nice gentle shoulder rolls. Good, nice and easy. So I've got a couple things planned for you. Stick along for as long as you'd like. I'm hoping this is not gonna go longer than 20, 25 minutes. Ah, so just join me when you've got some time, whether it's now or later. So like I say in my classes, we carry a lot of tension and stress in the upper body. So here's our time to breathe and let it all go. Change directions. You can even go one arm at a time here if you like. That's all right. Good, and breathe. Relax the shoulders, nice. Now let's move it into some head and neck rolls. So dropping the chin and rolling from ear to ear. I don't really cue these. What I say is go at your own pace. If moving the head and neck like this gives you vertigo, just stay still. You don't have to move, you can just meditate. That's all right. I change directions. Good, and breathe. Bring it back to center, take a breath. Now, another one of my favorite little series is lifting the arms overhead and closing and opening the arms. Good, and slowly moving down. This is a great chest and back opener. Super easy, warms up the shoulders. And now let's bring it back up and breathe. Good, we spend so much of our day hunched over our phones, hunched over our computers, over the steering wheel, over the sink. So this is a great way to sort of open up the body. Let's bring it up and then back down again. Again, super easy. Breathing, bring it back down. And after this, we'll come into some rotational squats. And relax, relax the shoulders. Take those feet a little wider apart here, toes turned out. We're gonna come into a gentle squat, hinging at the hips, chest is open, rise up, and then lift the heel, pivot to your right or left, it doesn't matter, we'll get both sides. Bring it back down, and then to the other side. So we're getting a nice twist here through that midsection and breathe. Gentle squats. This is just an easy warm up. Good. Squat back and twist. Squat back and twist. Good. Couple more, one more each side. And then bring it back to center. One last one for good luck. Beautiful. So from here we're gonna come into a gentle hip hinge like you would in a deadlift. So those feet are parallel, right underneath the hips. We're gonna hinge at the hips, send the hips back, keeping that back flat, and then rise up with control. Little press forward of the hips there. So just like you would in a deadlift. We're not doing any deadlifts today, trust me. Good. And getting that stretch through the hamstrings and the lower back. I'm not even counting these, I'm just moving intuitively. Right, that's how easy it is today. <laughs> Getting a little movement in. That's our goal. 
You can keep the hands where they are, or you can bring the hands to the nape of the neck. I clasp my fingers behind my neck, so I keep my shoulders nice and open, and hinge down and press up. As you come down, try not to let those uh, elbows drop in, right? So you're keeping that chest nice and open. These are called good mornings, and I hate the name of them. <laughs> I don't like to think of these as a good morning. I just don't, I can't. All right, again, I'm not counting these ones. And right here, release the hands, tap the floor, and then lift all the way up to the ceiling. Good, you don't even have to reach for the floor if that doesn't feel good. These are just floor to ceilings and getting that heart rate up, getting a good stretch in and breathe. Lift and lower. We lift and lower. Couple more. These should feel good and breathe. So after a few more of these, we'll come into some movements to bring the heart rate up just a little bit more. Four exercises one minute each. Good. Go ahead, come back to center. Take a moment to breathe. I'm just pulling up a timer. All right, so four exercises, one minute each. You can make them as intense as you want. You can bring them down, keep them as gentle as you want. <sighs> All right, let's begin. The first one is going to be just a gentle march in place, just a gentle knee drive using those arms and breathe. One minute on the clock. If you want to turn this into a skip or a jump, you can. I don't love jumping in my living room, so I'm just going to march it out and breathe. Spine is tall, belly's pulled in, shoulders are relaxed. Keep going, 30 seconds. In through the nose, out through the mouth. You're just breathing and using those arms. Good, 10 seconds. Nice. All right, our next move is a low Frankenstein. So keeping those hips nice and still, extend one leg and the other. Foot is flexed, toes to the ceiling. Good, great for those hips, the hip flexors, the back of the leg, belly pulled in. You can add opposite arm if you want. You don't have to, you don't have to touch the toes. See, I'm winded already. Whew. And relax, relax the shoulders, St spine is tall, A couple more, 20 seconds, beautiful, getting that good stretch, heart rate's coming up a little bit, good, last 10, after this we've got butt kicks. You can step it out or you can go into a full butt kick if you don't mind jumping in your house. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna step, step it out. Super easy. Kicking your own butt. I have short legs so it always feels like I'm just kind of doing something weird here. You can turn it into a butt kick. That's fine. You don't have to. God. Thinking of that hamstring and that glute connection here as well. 20 seconds. And breathe. After this, we've got a side lunge to warm up those outer hips. If they're not already feeling kind of warm. <laughs> Good, 10 seconds. And breathe, I'm watching the clock. Good, keep going. Breathe. And take those feet nice and wide right here. So here I'm back on my mat. Feet are super wide, toes turned out, hands on the hips. As you lean toward one knee, send those hips back, sink into it, feel that stretch on that inner thigh. Come center and change. Center and change. Good. So a little slower than the last three but with the same energy, right? Keeping the chest open, shoulders relaxed, and breathe. Allow the heart rate to come down. <laughs> Allow yourself to catch your breath. 
bring it back to center. 10 more seconds of these, and then we'll do some standing arms. Once again, no weights. You need nothing for this today, just yourself. Good. And breathe. And come back to center and rest. So stay standing. However, that means your lower body is still engaged. Feet are grounded, inner thighs are zipped, tailbone is tucked, abs are pulled in, shoulders are relaxed, and take those arms out to the side. Your palms are facing down. You're gonna lift that right arm alongside your ear and then press down. So it's a lift and press, lift and press. Good, nice and graceful. And those left fingertips are still reaching, right? Good, and breathe. Stay with it. 20 more to go. Oh yes, we'll be here for a little while. Good, nine, eight. Pull that belly in, relax the shoulders. Good, keep going. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, good. Here's 10 and nine. It's amazing what you can do with just your body weight. In fact, this is also a good time to kind of connect in with that mind muscle connection. Let's do five more, five and four. Relax the shoulders, three, here's two, and one, hold that right arm out, left side. Three sets of 10. Good, and breathe. Pull the belly in, relax the shoulders, and keep going. Good, now the arms are starting to feel a little tired. Lift and press, lift and press. Second set right here, 10. Good, nine. Whew. I can't really count. <laughs> Confession. Good, my students know that for sure. Here's four, three, two, second set right here. Yes, we are. Good, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. You know what's coming. I think you might know what's coming. Both arms, 10, nine, eight, Nice and graceful, seven, lift and press, six, five, four, three, two, second set, here we go, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, pull that belly and relax those shoulders, good, second set, right here, 10, see, it's not so bad, nine, eight, Seven, getting those shoulders mostly, those biceps, the triceps, the backs of the arms for four, three, two, and hold those arms out. Please do not rest. Flip the palms, soft bend in the elbows, biceps, circle the arms forward for 10, nine, eight, seven. So palms are up. Like you're holding a little golf ball, right? You don't want it to fall on the floor. A golf ball, a grape, a cherry tomato. Keep going. These ones are hard to count, so I'm moving intuitively here. Let's go a little bigger. And breathe. Yep, we're just wagging our arms in space, that's it. Good. And a little bigger here. So not slower, but with more intensity, right? Keep going, circling forward, because you know, gotta go the other direction, right here. Big circles to the back. Open up that chest, relax the shoulders. There's a lot happening here. Beautiful. And breathe. And medium circles to the back. Good. And small circles right here to the back. Almost there. And uh, relax, beautiful. Shake out those arms, shake out the shoulders. Now we're gonna come into some bicep curls. And bicep curls without weights helps you think a little bit more about that muscle, the biceps in the fronts of the arms. So 
I'm turning to the side just so you guys can see. Palms are facing up as you lift all the way to the top of the shoulder and then flip the palms, press down. So we lift and pull, push and press. Lift and pull, lower and press. Good, so relax the shoulders, squeeze those elbows into the ribs and use those muscles. You can flap those arms all day and you won't feel a thing, but when you connect your mind to the muscle, that's where, that's where you feel the work. Good. Two more sets, 10, nine, push, eight, push. Push against water or thick mud, right? And then resist against gravity as you lift. Good. Keep going, relax the shoulders. Pull the belly button in. Good, second set, 10, down. Nine, push, eight, push. Good, good for the forearms too with this rotation through the wrist. Good, last five, and four, three, two, and one, rest. Beautiful, from here take those feet just a little bit wider, wider. Hinge at the hips, bend at the knees, kind of like you're going skiing. Elbows in, fingers are reaching. You're gonna reach back behind you, pull those elbows, and bend the elbows, pull the hands right back in. So tricep extensions right here. So again, another opportunity to connect your mind to that muscle. And breathe. Good, keep pushing back behind you and slicing through the air. 20 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, relax the shoulders, three, two, pull the belly in, last set. Good, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, keep breathing, four, three, two, and hold, reach those arms long, and rest. Beautiful work. From here, we're gonna come on down to our hands and knees into a four-point kneeling position. Believe me, I've already worked up a sweat. That's fine. <laughs> All right. So, in this hands and knees position, your knees are under your hips, and your wrists are under your shoulders. Pull the belly button in, and begin. What we're gonna do is we're going to pull that belly button in, arch through that upper back, get that stretch, and then drop the belly, lift the chin and tailbone, and get that stretch. So we're flexing through that spine and then extending. This is called cat-cow from yoga, and it's so good on that spine. It's like a a little spinal massage as you move through these extensions and flexions. Good, relax and breathe. Just a couple more. Good. And now let's find that halfway point. Beautiful. So halfway point is your flat back. You're not arched or scooped, it's right in the middle. You're pulling that belly button in and relaxing the shoulders. This next exercise is called bird dog. So go ahead and extend those right fingertips forward, left toes back. Find your balance now on these new points of contact on the floor. Draw that belly button in, relax the chin, and we're gonna lift those limbs in opposition. Lift and lower, lift and lower. So this is a huge balance challenge. It's a lot of work on that, on those abdominals, in those hamstrings, those glutes, the shoulder. This is a nice long diagonal line right through the body. Let's do four and three. Here's two and one. Beautiful, bring it all back to center and change sides. So left fingertips extend, right toes go back. Pull that belly button in, extend long through the spine, 
Here we go, lift for 10 and lower. Super smooth with control. Beautiful, eight. Keep pulling that belly button into the spine. It does take a lot of practice to pull the belly button into the spine. Good. And four. And three. Here's two. And one. Beautiful. From here, take a child's pose. Send the hips back, reach the arms forward, and rest. Again, easy movement. Beautiful. Taking a couple breaths here. Wiping the sweat, if you're sweating already, like I am. All right, from here, come back into that quadruped position. Knees below the hips, wrists below the shoulders. From here, we're going to extend that right leg out nice and long. Pull the belly button in. Now we're working that booty and those hamstrings. Here we go. We lift those toes for 10. Lower with control. Lift nine and lower. Eight, seven, still pulling in those abs. And try to avoid arching through that back just to lift that leg higher. I'm keeping my hip bones nice and still and square to the mat. Takes a lot of practice. Good, here's two. And hold this one right here. Little lifts for 10, nine, eight, seven. Just a little extra squeeze on that booty. Six, five, four, three, two, hold. Bend that knee. Heel to the glute. Knee stays hovering. Extend. Good. Nine. Extend. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Oh, three. Two. Almost there. Work through that pain, that intensity. Here's ten. Little lifts. Nine. Poke a hole in the ceiling. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, rest. Whew, take a moment. Recenter yourself. <laughs> Other side. Left leg extends. Pull that belly button in. Square up through the shoulders and hips. Here we go. Lift for 10 and tap down. Nine and lower. So again, this is not a lift and flop, right? It's a lift and press. Lift and press. Good. We're here for only a short time. We want to be here for a short time, so get the most out of it. That's what I like to think. I'm definitely a quality over quantity kind of workout person. <laughs> Keep that leg lifted. Little lifts. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold, heel to the glute. 10, 9, squeeze those hamstrings. 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, keep pulling in those abs, two, and hold, poke a hole in the ceiling with those toes, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, set it down, child's pose, and breathe, good. Wipe the sweat, recenter yourself, and if you think you're getting out of this class without any push ups, I'm sorry. <laughs> At least we'll be on our knees, right? Okay, so coming back into that quadruped position, I like to take a couple inches back behind me, and then I'm going to walk my hands forward just of where they were and rock onto the tops of the thighs. So I'm not on my kneecaps. That just doesn't look good. It doesn't sound good. <laughs> Roll right onto the tops of the thighs with the toes pointing up to the ceiling. We're going to inhale to prepare. Exhale lower as you drop that chest. Press up with control. We lower and lift. Good. Lower and lift. Here's seven. And six. Here's five. If you can do a full push-up, go for it. We're talking nice and easy, healthy movement today. Good. Last one. And press up. Child's pose. 
Beautiful. Catch your breath. Roll out the wrists here if you need to. Go ahead, reset for round two of those push-ups. Walk those hands forward. Come to the tops of the thighs. Belly button is pulled in. Abs are pulled in. Here we go. Ten. And nine. Here's eight. Long spine. Relax your jaw. Relax your eyebrows. Not so bad. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Press back. Child's pose. Take a minute here. Roll out the wrists. And now we're going to do a complete 180 and flip onto our back. I see some comments, which is very exciting. I don't know who's commented. I can't see from here, but we'll see later. <laughs> Hopefully they're positive. Okay, so coming onto your back here, roll down with control. Take a moment to catch your breath. Windshield viper those legs back and forth. This is good for the hips and the lower back. Good. Again, the focus is on easy movement. All right, from here, we're going to do bird dog, essentially, but upside down, and it's called dead bug. Why not? All right, so tuck the tailbone, pull that belly button in, and lift those legs to 90 degrees. 90 degree bend at the knees and at the hips. We're gonna pull out those arms forward right in front of the shoulders. Pull the belly button in here, and there's no space underneath your back, right? So you're pressing that low back into the mat. We're gonna tap the right toes down, squeeze and lift. Back to center, tap the left, squeeze and lift. Eight, and seven, whew, six, five, four. So you're using your abs here, rather than letting the hip flexors take over and arch that lower back. It's all abdominal control. Last two and one. Stay where you are. And now as the right leg taps down, the left arm is gonna reach alongside the ear, pull everyone back to center and change. Nice and slow. Tap down and lift. Tap down and lift. Still pulling that belly button into the spine. Good, I like to remind students because it's easy to just kind of follow the movement and lose that connection. But that's not what we want to do. Last four. Whew. And three. Keep breathing, two. And one. Now keep those arms where they are. Extend the legs. Soft bend in the knees is always okay. Or you can keep those knees bent at 90. Your choice. Reaching those fingers up. This is the hard part. Go ahead and drop that right leg parallel to the floor. Squeeze and lift. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. So again, just like we did with the arms, it's a press and a pull, right? Using those abs. You can hear my voice shake. These are not easy. Last three. And two. And one. Can we do? Opposite leg, opposite arm. Yes, for 10. And nine, still pulling in those abs. Good. Beautiful. Keep going. Oh, five. And four. Here's three. As often as I do these, I still shake. Two. And one, hug those knees in and breathe. All right, keeping with the core, we're gonna get a little bit more hip and back extension with some bridges. So head, neck, and shoulders are gonna stay on the mat, hands by the side of the body, feet flat, knees bent. Once again, tuck that tailbone, pull the belly button in. We're gonna lift those heels right up to the, lift the hips right up to the ceiling and lower with control. For a bridge, we lift and lower. Lift and lower. Good. Slow and steady wins the race. And breathe. Keep pulling in those abdominals. 
This is still an ab exercise as well. In fact, everything is an ab exercise. We use our core so much. Second set, here's 10. Relax the shoulders. Breathe. Press through the heels and squeeze those glutes for six. And five. Here's four. And three. Last two. And one. Beautiful. Now right where those heels are, go ahead and lift those toes, press the heels down into the mat. So here we're going to get a little bit more activation, I should say a lot more activation, through the backs of the legs. Here we go, lift 10, and 9, here's 8, seven, keep breathing, keep relaxing the shoulders, long neck, good, for 5, and 4, here's 3, here's 2, and second set, here we go, stay with me. I hope my head isn't chopped off. Yeah, I'm just trying to look at the picture as well, and I think my head has been chopped off, but that's fine. Here's five, here's four, and three, two, first attempt at a workout Facebook Live. Eh, all right, here we go. Now, heels down, excuse me, heels up, toes down. These are our stiletto bridges. I'm gonna move a little bit. I think that was all right. Okay, here we go, lift for 10, and nine, eight, pull that belly button in, seven, six, here's five, and four, three, two, you know it, second set, 10, nine, eight, push, seven, Six, five, four, three, two. Hold up at the top right here. You saw that coming. Here's ten pulses. Lift a little higher. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Second set. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, rest. Hug those knees into the body and breathe. Beautiful. Flex and point through those feet. Let's take a couple moments here to stretch and then we'll call it a day. So from here, this is my absolute favorite stretch. Hug the right knee in and extend that left leg long. My foot is flexed. Heels pressing down, toes up to the ceiling, and I'm relaxing the shoulders and hugging the right knee into my body. And breathing. Good, so this is where we seal in all that hard work that we just did. Beautiful, now reach behind the back of the leg and extend those toes up to the ceiling. Go ahead and flex and point those toes. Good circle the ankle in one direction circle it the other way good take an inhale here exhale pull the leg in a little deeper if you want to you don't have to it's never mandatory if you're feeling a stretch right here stay with it and breathe Good, bend that knee, and let's change sides. So extend that right leg and hug that left knee into the body. You don't have to extend that left that leg, you can keep it bent as well. So, back to this stretch, hugging the left knee in. Right heel is down, toes up to the ceiling. Relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. Good, reach behind that leg and extend. That leg can also be bent here, especially if it's tighter, which sometimes our non-dominant side usually is a little tighter, which is why we wanna spend an equal or as equal as we can 
amount of time on both sides. So I'm flexing and pointing through that heel, through that ankle, circling in one direction, circling the other way. Beautiful. From here, take an inhale, reach long, exhale. If you've got the space, go ahead and hug that leg in a little deeper. The left leg is just stubborn sometimes. It just doesn't want to stretch. Good. Go ahead and bend those knees. Hug both knees into the body. Relax the shoulders. A little hug stretch here. Good. You can cross the ankles here and rock and roll up to seated. Come seated here. We'll take a little twist. Twist out any extra stress that you might be holding on to, any extra tension in the shoulders. So we'll take an inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, opposite hand to opposite knee. Inhale, tall, exhale, twist. Good, relax the shoulders and breathe. Good, such a nice twist, nice and easy. And again, inhale tall, grow a little taller, exhale, twist a little deeper, and breathe. Beautiful. Unwind, bring it back to center, inhale the arms up, exhale, twist to the other side, relax the shoulders, good. Inhale, grow tall, exhale, twist a little deeper. So like you're wringing out water from a sponge. That's how I like to think of it. Inhale tall, exhale twist. And breathe. Nice, bring it back to center. Relax the shoulders. I hope you had a lot of fun. I hope you join me later. I hope if you just watch that you had fun, I'll take it. Um, let me know if you liked it. Let me know if you want to see anything else from me. I think you guys might just be subjected to some workout lives as I'm missing all my workout friends. Um, so I hope you have a great rest of your evening, a great holiday, and a happy 2021. Yay! Thank you! I'm going to end it now, creepily, walking to the camera, and end. <laughs> Bye!